Radio telescope images reveal nebula's heart of carbon vertical line atom cosmos vertical line science news. Subscribe archives register log in. Atom cosmos. Body brain. Earth. Environment. Genes cells. Humans. Life. Matter energy. Molecules. Science society. Other. Yes and kids. 09 vertical line 21 vertical line 13 issue. Contents collision course, scientists struggle to make windows safer for birds. The tune wreckers. Lousy singers make the pitch for scientific relevance. Subscribe. Give a gift. Renew. RSS feeds. Email alerts. Digital edition. Podcast. Past issues. Read articles, including science news stories written for students, on the RSNK website. Contents alien cart leap onto the scene. Invasive fish break people's bones and threaten native species. Video games, when granddad wins, with some practice, people over 60 bested untrained 20-year-olds meet the new meat. Scientists made a hamburger without harming animals, but it cost as much as a house. Home flash news. Radio telescope images reveal nebula's heart of carbon. Alma takes detailed look at elements surrounding dying star. By Ashley Eater. Web edition, September 5, 2013. A plus A, text size. Alma takes detailed look at elements surrounding dying star. By Ashley Eater. Web edition, September 5, 2013. Enlarged. Stellar view. Sharp images of the planetary nebula NGC 6302 shown in full. Inside reveal that carbon atom's main image, yellow congregate near the center of the dying star. Credit, Alma, Hubble Space Telescope. New high-resolution images of a planetary nebula show carbon atoms concentrated in a small region near its center. The images are the most detailed radio telescope observations to date of atoms swirling about a dying star. Made of a star once five times the mass of the Sun, planetary nebula NGC 6302 sits about 3,800 light-years from Earth in the constellation Scorpius. Scientists are interested in getting a close-up of its carbon hydrogen and oxygen to understand the chemical environment in and around dying stars. Combining submillimeter wavelength observations with images taken using the Hubble Space Telescope, astronomers were able to identify the location of the carbon atoms. Astronomers zoomed in on the planetary nebula using 5-7 meter radio antennas at the Atacama Large Millimeter Flash Submillimeter Array, or ALMA, in northern Chile. Future observations with additional ALMAS antennas could provide a view that's 400 times the resolution of these images. And, since reactions between carbon and other atoms, such as oxygen and hydrogen, create complex molecules necessary for planets and life, astronomers say the view could explain more about the evolution of the universe. Comment. Citations. Press release. The world's first interferometric image at 500 GHz with ALMA band 8 receivers. Alma. Last accessed, September 5, 2013. Go to. Suggested reading. 8. What's a. Planets and their sun grow together. Science News. Volume 183, January 26, 2013. Page 10. Go to. C. Carlisle. Antennas reveal and any. Science News. Volume 180, November 5, 2011. Page 10. Go to Comments 2. Please alert Science News to any inappropriate posts by clicking the report spam link within the post. Comments will be reviewed before posting. Caption Carbon atoms congregate near the center of the dying star. S slash R carbon atoms congregate near the center of the nebula surrounding the dying star. William Turnbull. September 6, 2013 at 4.06 p.m. What is the current resolution for this object in these images? Parsecs per pixel. Light year cell. Own. Ralph Dragman. September 7, 2013 at 10.13 a.m. Registered readers are invited to post a comment. To encourage fruitful discussion, please keep your comments relevant, brief and courteous. Offensive, irrelevant, nonsensical and commercial posts will not be published. All links will be removed from comments. You must register with Science News to add a comment. To log in click here. To register as a new user, follow this link. Follow us. Follow at Science e News Orb. Features Everlasting Light.